Today is very special because one year ago, April 7th, 2016, my airplane landed at Kansai Airport in Osaka, Japan. Hello interwebs and welcome back. For those of you who don't know, my name is Shanna and this is where I share my life and stories and adventures and opinions and whatever else I feel like. And today, this is not a vlog, this is going to be me talking to you about the very special day that today is. By today, by the way, I mean probably not the day this is being uploaded, but the day that I'm recording this. It's almost midnight right now. And I have had a long day at work. I have to work in the morning. I probably won't be editing this until tomorrow. So it is what it is. Today is very special because one year ago, April 7th, 2016, my airplane landed at Kansai Airport in Osaka, Japan. And this is such a big deal because picking up and leaving the life that I had and moving to another country was not easy. And that's not to say I was totally happy in whatever where I was. I wasn't. I was actually very unhappy, but I was comfortable. And one of the biggest challenges in life is making yourself uncomfortable in order to grow, in order to learn, and sometimes in order just to be happy. And one of the biggest things that I've learned by picking up and changing my life and moving to another country is that you may not have control of the circumstances that you are given, but you do have control over the decisions that you make and the things that you do with those circumstances. If you're unhappy, do something about it. And sometimes that means making sacrifices. Sometimes that means giving up the things that make us comfortable. Sometimes that means being uncomfortable for an extended period of time. But if you're not happy, then you need to do that. And you need to make those changes because no one else is going to do it for you. And nothing is going to change unless you change yourself and change your own decisions. I hope that makes sense. That's enough preachiness for one video. So I'm going to kind of give a little bit of a recap on coming to Japan. And I still remember exactly how I felt one year ago, especially after the long trip and landing. I was just tired and I was excited but I was also very nervous because when I first came here, I knew zero Japanese. And I'm sure my family was even more nervous than I was about that because let's be honest, I have no sense of direction. I get lost using GPS. How was I going to find my way around in a new country where at first I had no internet? And if you didn't know, it's actually very difficult to find Wi-Fi in most places in Japan. So I had no access to pretty much anything. But I somehow managed. There were some bumps that I ran into. There were definitely some hurdles I had to jump through. But I managed. I was also very lucky because my first real day here, I made one of my best friends in Japan. And the first few days, I ended up meeting the person who I consider my Japanese sister. And I have met so many incredible people along my way, along my journey here, that I don't know what I would do without these people. And I don't know who I would be without these people. Every day is something new. I learn something new, whether it's about myself or about other people or about culture or about life or about history or about the environment. I'm always learning. And that is one of the greatest things about being in this country. That is one of the greatest things about being somewhere new, about challenging myself. Sorry, by the way, if my thoughts are a little rambly, but I didn't want this to be scripted in any way. And I just wanted to talk about my experience candidly. So yeah, sorry, but it is what it is. 
One of the things I wanted to talk about in this video is culture shock. And you hear a lot of people who move to another country, or even someone who just visit another country for an extended period of time, talk about culture shock. And it's really strange because I don't think I've had legitimate culture shock. I would probably attribute it to the fact that when I came here, I came here without expectations. I had done a little bit of research about Japan. I didn't want to come here and not know anything and not be culturally sensitive in any way. So yes, I did some research, but I didn't do so much research that I came here with an idea of what I thought life was going to be, of what I thought people were going to be, of what I imagined my own story to turn out as. I came here with an open mind and an open heart and ready to go on adventures and explore and to learn. And I think that if you plan to go to another country, or even if you just plan to make a big move somewhere within your own country, do it without solid expectations. Because when you have expectations, you are only setting yourself up to be let down if those expectations aren't met. And I think that's sometimes where people run into this kind of roller coaster when they go somewhere new. They start off really excited and ready to go and ready to be there. And then after being there for a week, two weeks, a month, three months, suddenly they have this urge to go home and they're sad and they're depressed because things weren't what they expected them to be. And if you go without expectations, you're less likely to have that feeling. I never once wanted to go home. I never once felt like I wasn't in the right place. Yes, not every day is perfect. Yes, I have stressors. Yes, sometimes I don't feel good. But overall, I'm so happy and I've not wanted to once run home. And that I think is awesome after being here for one year. So I know there was definitely more that I wanted to talk about, but I can't remember what it is, and I didn't write anything down, and I had work today, so my brain's not working. I'm ready to go to sleep, because I have work in the morning again. <laughs> so I'm just going to end this here, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button. If you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button. Look forward to more vlogs, more videos from me. If you enjoyed me just talking, uh, please let me know, and I'll try and make more videos, and I'll try and make them, you know, maybe a little more organized, because uh, this one's just not. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! I keep having to move because my foot keeps falling asleep. It's really freaking annoying. And the train is also really annoying, but there's nothing I can do about it, so just let it go. Let it go, let it go. Okay, I need to stop.